I'm about to do a seven day fast. I have never been able to do this before. This is a matter of sticking to doing things that we say we're gonna do. A matter of discipline and controlling our thoughts and our minds, right? Or aware of the fact that the information and the food that we have and all the, you know, the reality in which we live is given to us by companies who are looking to generate profit. And a lot of us were addicted to things and we're constantly going back to things because we run on a software program. <laughs> Let's see if I can do it, you guys. Wish you best of luck. Let's get into it. It's about 7.15 in the morning and today is day one of my seven day fast. I have coffee and I'm gonna let myself have some teas and things like that. The reason for doing this is not because I'm trying to starve myself, it's to reprogram my mind. Okay, so you guys are getting into this 60 day challenge with me. This is part of the process is like reprogramming your mind. I'm basically gonna make food my bitch. <laughs> Starting to feel a little bit of the, little bit of the hunger because usually I would be eating at this point. And not today. Right, so it's day two and it's about 2.30 my time. I feel pretty good. I've gotten a little bit of hunger pangs here and there. But really nothing major, nothing like what I was thinking it was gonna be. So I'm over a day and a half into it and now I'm just kind of coasting. Call me crazy, I'm gonna go hit the gym. I just feel like it. I feel like I have energy, like I just wanna go to the gym. Yeah, you can strength train when you're fasting and actually get a lot of gains from it too. Side note though, y'all know I was gonna say it. You gotta get your electrolytes in there. If you're gonna do a fast. post-gym time and that was pretty easy honestly I did shoulders and pull-ups and I did some abs and all that and wasn't pressing it too hard but now I'm literally sitting outside and I'm just sitting in the sun I probably look pretty weird to everybody but we're not meant to be stuck inside all day we gotta be in the sun gotta be on the grass grounding grounding is a huge thing good morning weirdly enough I am literally on day three of this fast and right now I don't you know I don't really feel anything super hunger wise I thought I would feel a lot more hungry I'm feeling a little bit so it's not not there but it's super 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 low-key but yeah I definitely thought I would be feeling a little bit more hungry at this point given we're only at the start of day three so we'll see how this day goes but something that is a hack though for this if you know anybody is trying to fast even just for a little bit is I get hot water and I just I basically drink that with a little bit of the salt in there and the electrolytes in there and it kind of helps to, I don't know, it makes you feel just good. So it's now like 6.30, day three, and I'm not hungry at all. <laughs> Worked out today, had a really good time, and now I'm gonna go to a friend's house for a game night. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I think it's probably this animal-based lifestyle that I eat where I'm pretty fat adapted at this point. I don't eat all that often anyway, so maybe that's part of why this is not bothering me so much, why I'm not that hungry. Hi. I fasted three days water fast with salt, salting the water. That's what I did. I found out that when I didn't salt my water, I lost five pounds in a day, salted the water and it all came back. I, was, I think I was just chugging water to satisfy my stomach. Right. Maybe oral fixation of like, okay, that's the like fucking thing. I am chugging water. Yeah. It's a dog. <laughs> What's up, you guys? It's the middle of day four. It is so beautiful out. The tricky thing is, though, I forgot that I made plans tonight with some friends and I'm going to another city to see a violinist play, a friend of mine, and we're all gonna go get dinner before. It's gonna be like 20 of us or 10 of us, I don't know how many, it's gonna be a lot though. So yeah, I'm gonna be the only person at dinner not eating. I think the biggest thing for tonight is gonna be making sure that I don't break to pressure because I think when you're around a lot of food, this is what I think. I think that we've kind of been taught in a lot of ways that snacking and all that is super normal, but like, dude, I'm almost four days through this and I, I haven't wanted food hardly at all, except for when I'm like around it, right? When it starts to like, it's like, I don't know if the word is like triggering me. It's, it's healthy to eat, you wanna eat, but like, I don't know that we need to eat as often or as much as we've been taught and sold and told. There goes that like programming from the marketing and the, you know, the, the food, big food world where it's trying to 
get us to buy snacks all the time. And it kind of goes back to that whole thing of us, you know, being programmed in a type of way to do things like breakfast at 10, you know, lunch at one, dinner at seven, and then snacks in between. It's like, is that really the way or is that partly why people are so sick? Eating all these terrible processed foods, like spending all this money, is it really necessary or is this just kind of like a software embedded in us from companies looking to generate profit? And yes, eat, eat when you're hungry. I eat, y'all know I eat a lot. Yeah, what? I fucked up. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm, I'm doing a, a challenge right now for a seven day fast. Today is day four. Seven days? Seven days. Are and you crazy? No, it's actually super easy, weirdly. I'm a little bit shocked at how well it's been going, honestly, because I've never, I think it's because I eat animal based mostly. Is that a cookie? Is that a cookie? That's a shit. I hate you. <laughs> what did you get? Got tuna on top. Wow. Rice with chipotle mayo. You can eat the whole thing. Uh, yes. yes. Well, I'm gonna put it in front of you before, for like 10 minutes. Make me smell before it. Before I actually like, and then eat it. Slowly eat it. Blow some of that Describe over. Describe every single bite. Can you smell it? Cheers. Cheers. Hello. It's the end of the night now, and I've lasted the whole night, and these bitches are giving me, these guys are giving Respect. me all the crap. For Respect, that. because she had to watch us eat, eat five-star sushi and drinks. Yes. And didn't do it. Was we're it five-star? We're still splitting the bill equally, by the way. <laughs> so last night was fun. I'm now in day five. I would say today was the first day I've started, I really started to notice anything major. So I woke up with a headache. My heart was beating a little bit faster, and I woke up with like six hours of sleep, which kind of sucked. <laughs> but... Yeah, I noticed that. And then this was, I was talking with my friend on the phone about this today. This is what I noticed with last night that I think is so key to take away from this. I wasn't really hungry, but I had everybody around me eating, enjoying their food and all that stuff. Typically I would be eating, right? It was sushi, all the salt, all the things. I don't drink, you guys know that. I stopped drinking when I was 26 years old. Last night, what was interesting was suddenly I felt this like urge, like a temptation to drink. <laughs> and to like smoke some weed. When I noticed it, it was like I was sitting there watching everybody eat and realized it was because I was looking for a dopamine rush. I wasn't actually hungry either. I was just, because I wasn't eating, I wasn't getting this dopamine rush and my brain started searching and like grasping for something. And so that was really revealing to me because through this whole process, I really haven't been super hungry. Like I've been drinking hot water, I've gotten my my salt in there, my electrolytes, you know, like my uh, sparkling water. I have not been hungry, but when I feel this like wanting something feeling, it's a feeling of wanting dopamine. Maybe we're just eating a lot of the food that we eat, like the processed food that I always talk about, or even just food in general, we're constantly eating because of that dopamine rush. I had this guy here, Bardia, on as a guest, and we talked about the neurotransmitter dopamine and I think that's a really great video for anybody who's looking to understand a little bit further how to overcome addiction that might be food alcohol other people love sex whatever that's kind of what I'm seeing tie into this whole shift right now and now I'm on day five I'm about halfway through it's like noon on on day five All right now it's about I think it's six six thirty at night I'm gonna go hang out with some friends at dinner <laughs> that's the plan Probably this is just the week of dinners that I'm going doing this. So I will be having soda water without me. Good, huh? Yum. <sighs> wow, yeah, you eat it like that, huh? That's hot. Oh, yeah, <laughs> All right, back home. Almost nine at night. I'm starting to sense this feeling of like wanting, like my mind is telling me to eat. Smelling the food was a thing. And then afterwards I went to my friend's house and they were cooking. I keep thinking about things like chips and cookies and like all of those things. But I also am thinking about meat. So I'm thinking about steak and red meat and all that, but I'm not actually hungry, which is weird, right? You would think, but I'm just not. But to see my mind waver like that is fascinating. And it's all about controlling the mind. That's what this whole thing is about is like kind of subordinating the mind to make sure that we can keep a promise to ourselves and actually see it all the way through because then when we can do that we can actually control our lives and you know creating discipline really creates more freedom in my eyes at least to 
get rid of any kind of cravings that I have. I have some hot water here with some salt. So it's been a few, a lot of hours since I've had that. I need that shit. And that's probably gonna help me a lot now that I'm back home and salt, 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 and electrolytes. All right, it's day six. Definitely feeling a little bit hungry this morning. It is like 6.30 in the morning and I'm feeling it. This is probably the most hungry I've been this whole time. I'm gonna make sure I just think different thoughts and try to not really worry about it. Please don't mind my socks with flip-flops moment right now. So I find this to be super valuable when creating new habits. I stopped, you know, mooching other people's jewels, let's say, or cigarettes, even eating animal based or carnivore, removing a lot of processed foods. There is a way to like embed this, but it's like a constant reminder to do that. So what I have for myself every single day, every single hour, which on day six today, it's becoming rather more important than it was the last five days is reminders on my phone. It's kind of like, putting me back in my mindset as to why I'm doing this. I'm able to do this because I eat so healthfully now and I've been doing it for so long. I've been coaching on carnivore for so long, animal-based for so long, living that lifestyle for so long. I'm not perfect, but I would never have been able to do this. I've tried this. The longest I was able to go was almost three days. The longest I've ever been able to go until uh, after doing the lifestyle I do now and now I'm on day six. But I don't promote this for weight loss. I'm promoting this for kind of understanding the mind versus the body and how we can choose to think and feel different thoughts. So it's about 11 or so in the morning, I think. You know, I talk a lot about grounding, but like finding a way to get in, like in nature. It's like a form of old school, you could say medicine that I think in all honesty sounds super wooey, but it is legit. <laughs> I was feeling a little bit like distracted this morning. She took a moment to get outside. I think that we have been pulled away from the old school like approach of just making sure we're good, not just through pills. So wait, you've been using your sister's, you said 10 years. Yeah, and but, if, if you like. That you've been you using have to be, this. You have to be sensitive the way you hold it, because <laughs> if you like jiggle it too much, then like it loses connection. <laughs> And you've yeah. been using this because you didn't think that you had a way to plug it in. But this whole time you have this, and then you just play your phone. <laughs> you've been doing this for 10 years? Yeah. Okay, so that was my friend Alexander. I'm at his place right now. And this is Jack. What's up? <laughs> Jack sucks though. <laughs> Literally this dude has been using an iPod. Y'all, a freaking iPod for the last 10 years. <laughs> He wants me to smell. No, I'm on a six day of a seven day fast. It's not gonna make you hungry. It's definitely gonna make me hungry if I do an olfactory smell test. Well, it's not food. It's Let's just try it. Let's do it. What is that? That's, Whoa. That's bad kombucha. Sizzling for that. Yeah, that smells kind of good. That's kind of making me less hungry. Okay, so it's the sixth night and. Jesus did 40 days. Jesus didn't, so I'm kind of a. Says, thank you. I'm on day six, okay? It's actually kind of helping. <laughs> Day seven, baby. Yesterday I woke up with a headache. Today I feel, I feel great. I feel a little bit, like I can feel it in my body a little bit more, like kind of sluggish in terms of just movement. But overall I feel really pretty normal. And yeah, I could see yesterday how my bargaining started coming in. Like the bargaining brain, you know, where like maybe I could cut it like four hours short or maybe I can like, maybe if I go tomorrow and just do a half day, that'll still count. It's like. No, that's not how that works. I'm not even really hungry. I just want to eat because it feels good to eat and it tastes good. <laughs> like, that's what's so interesting about this. Whenever I feel like I'm craving something, I'm changing my thought. So rather than focusing on it and trying to push through it, I'm really picking a different thought to think about. And it's kind of going back to the power of the mind. I've said this a couple times, but last night I really had to focus on this. And it was funny because I was feeling really, um, like I was wanting like, <laughs> donuts last night. Which is funny because I don't commonly even eat donuts. It was like nine and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna lay here and just meditate for a minute and turn off the TV and pause and chill. And I had been like thinking these things kind of obsessively and then I really started thinking about other things, things that make me feel happy, things like good memories, all of that. And it turns out that I fell asleep at like 9.30. Totally accomplished what I was going for, which was changing my thoughts. And I did that all day yesterday. I did that all night. I'm doing that today when I'm thinking I need something. And it's like, 
overcoming the mind. It's pretty powerful. All right, guys, I have done it. It is day seven complete, and I'm literally gonna break my fast with, <laughs> of all places, motherfucking IHOP. So it's not my first choice, but it's definitely not my last choice. If anybody's hating on IHOP, then they need to revisit this place. It's fantastic. Going to IHOP because I broke my fast later at night, so this is basically what's open. I got a breakfast burrito. Basically gonna just eat the stuff in the burrito and not eat the tortilla. Though I also don't think sometimes it's the worst thing to have a tortilla, like have a damn tortilla. But how you break your fast is super important. You, When you break a fast, you do have to be careful with how much you eat. It can cause all sorts of problems with blood pressure, people that have gone into cardiac arrest by eating too much too quickly. You know, you don't wanna overdose yourself with sugar, like all these things. I got it to go, but I have to do it proper. When you get food out, I hop. You gotta eat a little bit of it in IHOP. We're eating this sucker in here. What's up guys? All right, so it's the day after my seven day fast and yeah, it's like back to nothing, like nothing changed at all. So there's a couple things that I wanna be super, 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 super clear on about this whole process. So I wanna just say if anybody out there is considering doing a seven day fast, because of this video, particularly the ladies. This is like specifically, if I could get the word out for you. I am saying do not do that for weight loss. You will literally screw yourself. I did not do this for weight loss. This was a practice, like I talked about a lot, of kind of controlling my mind, seeing what my body could do, con controlling my thoughts, and just kind of allowing my body to cleanse a little bit. The other thing I wanna say too is that, you know, I used to try doing fasts before when I used to eat a lot of processed food and I could not get past a three and a half day fast. It was like impossibly hard. This was shockingly easy. I have been for so long coaching on an animal based and a carnivore lifestyle and eating that way myself that my body is adapted. Had I not done that, I don't believe that I could have accomplished this as easily. And I think the real thing to pull away from that is the processed food. Processed food is literally killing us. It's killing us, all of society. It's making us anxious, fat, lonely. It's making us addicted to things. The majority of things we should get away with processed foods. And then the other thing too is the power of thought. So what I realized is a lot of the time I wasn't even hungry. I just wanted to eat. <laughs> And what it really was, was this dopamine kick that I was having. So, because I feel that once we kind of tap into what dopamine is doing to us and we can control it and be aware of it, we can then reinvent our realities with whatever addiction we have, whatever thing is taking over our lives, whether that's food, sex, porn, alcohol, weed, drugs, whatever it is, right? Validation, like dopamine is... It's the thing. A lot of really interesting things learned here. Total freaking life hack, you guys. I think that if you are considering life, trying to reinvent your reality, there's always something there that we can push and expand. And the power of the mind is the biggest part, I think. The thoughts that we think, in my eyes, is the biggest life hack helping us get there is removing processed foods, other substances that, you know, challenge us, hurt us. For me, that's alcohol. Could be a different thing for you. And ultimately, becoming the person that we wanna be having the business we wanna have, having the friends we wanna have is most important. So if you like this kind of content, subscribe, drop a comment if you agree, disagree, have tried it yourself, think this is crazy, <laughs> whatever. You can find me on Instagram too. I'm on Spotify, I'm also on Rumble. There's some weird stuff going on on all these platforms. So hopefully see you guys there and I will catch you all in the next one.